Hi, and welcome back to our class. Today we're going to discuss solving for x in exponents where x is the power. Now, you would notice that in this section, there's many different ways of asking because it is actually one of their favorite questions in the exams. When we are doing this section, we need to be careful with a few careless mistakes we make. Let's take for example, if I gave you 2 to the power of x plus 3 and I told you to separate it, you would tell me it's 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of 3. The base went to the x and the base went to the 3. But what happens when I give you 2 to the power of 3x? Now this actually means 2 to the power of x plus x plus x. So if I were to separate it, I would have a 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of x. The difference between this two are extremely important. If you are careless, then every other sum that you do ends up being incorrect. I'm asking you to notice the difference between these two sums. Let us do an example. We are now solving for x where x is the power. So if I gave you 2 into 1 over 2 to the power of x minus 4 equal to 64. Now we first have to always get the unknown alone. Now in this case, because it is linked to the half and the 4 is a power, the entire thing is working together. The only part we can get rid of is the 2. So we divide both sides by 2, giving us half to the power x minus 4 is equal to 32. So first, you get the unknown alone, which is a general rule for solving for x. Number 2 in exponents is prime numbers. We are going to break down 32 to 2 to the power of 5. When you have a fraction in exponents, they can be very challenging. But what you must remember is that we also have the rule that says any number that is a fraction, as soon as I move it from its position, the exponential power changes its sign. Remember the term does not change its sign, the exponential, exponential power changes its sign. So what would this become? 2 to the power of minus 1. So number 3 would be watch out for fractions. They are usually trouble. And with exponents it is so easy to remove the fractions so don't keep them. Here we would have 2 to the power of minus 1. Making the half a non-fraction. So we've taken the 2, we've moved it to the top, and we've changed the power sign. Outside, we still have x to the power of minus 4. Then we remove all brackets. This again is your exponential rule, where we use the distributive law. So I have 2 to the power of minus 1x plus 4, because minus 1 times minus 4 equals to positive 4, equal to 2 to the power of 5. Once the bases are the same, then we can cancel the base and you solve as you would solve a normal algebraic expression of solve for x. In this case, I would cancel the bases and I'm left with minus 1x plus 4 is equal to 5. So I'm making the exponents equal to each other. Now I can solve for x. I can bring my 1x over, making it a positive x, and bring my 5 over to the 4. So I've got plus 4 
minus 5 which is equal to minus 1. Thank you for watching.